All right, so here we are in the latest installment in the extraction shooter genre. This game goes by the name of Arena Breakout Infinite. We actually recently just got access to it. They were kind enough to give me a key to try out this game alongside two other keys, which I gave away to, which I actually decided to give away to one of my friends and one of my family members so they could uh, actually hop on here and try it out with me. But I think we're going to go ahead and be trying out this game solo. I have done one or two raids on my own just to get a feel for the game before actually recording this video. So far, I'm really liking what I'm seeing, though. It has a very similar feeling to Tarkov, definitely. However, there's some areas where I think this game is a lot better than Tarkov in terms of in terms of being actually more convenient and being uh, more casual towards players that are not looking for a real hardcore experience. It gives off the feeling of a more arcadey shooter alongside alongside the feeling of actually playing Tarkov at the same time. Another selling point to this game is that it's going to be completely free to play. Um, the only downside to it though is there's going to be some sort of in-game purchases you're probably going to have to buy so that this game's able to, you know, maintain staying up, keeping the servers up. And then so far from what I've heard, you're going to have to pay for your secure containers. Um, that's going to involve some sort of monthly subscription so that you guys can keep your containers. I know there's, when you start the game, you start with the container in here and it's, it gives you it for about, about 14 days or so. Um, but besides that, I'm not really sure what else they're going to end up adding to this game in the future. So we're just going to have to wait and see on that part. So today we're going to play a raid or two and just show off this game to you guys and see if it's something you guys are interested in. Uh, the closed beta only goes for about two weeks. I think we're already like day three or four into the closed beta. But uh, as soon as I get more information on this game, I'll be sure to put it out to you guys so that you guys could so that you guys are able to get your hands on this game as well. All right. So here we are in our first raid of Arena Breakout Infinite. Uh, so this game apparently has auto matchmaking so that you could squad up with people. From what I've seen, they haven't. They haven't actually team killed. I know in Tarkov, when you try to match with random people, they tend to just team kill you right off the bat for no reason. Unless you're playing with people that you actually know or people from a Discord. Uh, but the, using the in-game matchmaking system, people usually just grief you for your stuff and kill you. Because there's no really, there's no real way to actually penalize those players that do that. So, But in this but in this game, you're actually able to match with people. And as you guys can see, you actually can see your teammates around the map as well. So our current mission is just to extract from farm. Um, I'm gonna see if we could maybe get a little bit of a little bit of engagements before we actually head out so that we can make some money. Uh, there's people shooting on that side. This game does have free look like uh, very similar to Tarkov as well. More footsteps on that side that I heard. Oh, there's people over here to our northeast. Enemy there? Yeah, enemy to our northeast. We're actually pretty exposed up here, so I don't really wanna wanna loot up here. I guess we'll still need to repack. I hear him creeping. Alright. I'm hoping he was alone. Okay, nice. Yeah, this is a this is a player here. Let's see if we can reload while we uh, take this guy's gun. Oh my god, he has a kitted M4. That's a really nice looking M4. Not gonna lie. That's crazy. I was able to hear him, and he didn't hear me. I didn't even have a headphones on though. He did have headphones on. Let's check out his gun. Oh, yep. This is a nice looking M4. This game actually runs a lot better than Tarkov 2. The graphics look amazing. I'm able to run this over 100 frames PvP just freely. 
Uh, let me head over here and actually repack my other gun, though. Okay, let's see if we can make our way to an extraction point now, since we do have some loot on us now. Our team seems to be leaving us, so... What does a yellow extraction mean? Oh, that means you pay 2,000. What's 5 mean? Path to you can extract without a backpack equipped. Someone's walking up on us. It's like two footsteps now. Yeah, your your players here. Check the basement. I've got a quest. Son. He repeats that again. Nice, good stuff. Honey? Jesus, the in game microphone is so loud in this game. It's kind of an MP5. Appreciate the follow up here. They were getting, they were pinning me down pretty hard. Sorry, I was a bit. I, I just couldn't pinpoint where they were. To help more. Right, I'm gonna try to head to extraction now. It's red ping. 147. I mean, hopefully we're good. Actually, we didn't even bring a CMS kit, so... you probably watch out. Let's take out that scav right there. Yeah, so it looks like you do lose uh, food and energy, or you start losing health. Similar to a uh, similar system to Tarkov, if you run out of water, I didn't bring the uh, the appropriate meds. Since I don't really know how to how to organize my things right now at the moment, I got extra right there and I can't get over there. Make sure there's no no extract campers in this area. Oh wait, I don't have the two thousand. Two thousand dollars on me, actually. I'm trolling. Damn. That means we need to take. We need to take this extra. Just five hundred meters away. Damn! I really hope this. Oh my god! I just saw that guy inside of there. I 
think that was a sniper scout that we just took out there. All right, we're only 300 meters away from the from the extraction. I really hope that we can make it there without any difficulties. I'm pretty sure our painkiller is going to end up running out before we get there, though. I'm kind of just sticking to the edges of the map, just to be on the uh, just to be on the safe side. I'm not really trying to go into a building that I have no information on. God, I really hope these guys don't see me here. Oh, yep, they saw me. This is not a good, good spot for us right now. Come on, don't hit me. Everything's starting to get really blurry now. Actually, wait, we still have more pink moves. I thought we were all out. I guess he might have picked some up off the guy that we killed. Okay, we should be... How was that? I swear this guy kills me. Why was it just a scav there? Alright, we should be good to extract. Nice. We need to kill two players there. Total eliminations 10. We have a loot value of 171,000. Honestly, not too bad for a closed beta, though. That was actually a really fun raid. Not gonna lie. I'm excited to push out more content on this game once it fully releases. But in the meantime, I'm gonna try to. But in the meantime, I'm gonna try to take advantage of these two weeks we have of closed beta access, and I'm gonna try to push out as much content on this game as I can to you guys. But anyways, thank you guys for watching, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.